what they're paying for the service, they really do expect a return, and you have to show that return. And that's a constant process of updating and improving what you do to make sure you're delivering that value. Basically, if you've got a problem, uh, you're an HR profession, you have a problem in the workplace, you will find something to help you. So whether that's uh, complying with the law or uh, with a model policy or a document or whether that's finding out how your peers solve a particular problem in the workplace like sickness absence, we'll give you information to help you solve that problem. If you're an HR professional, what, your main concern is compliance with the law, um, that your organisation is doing the right thing. And that's hugely complex because it's driven by government legislation, it's driven by courts, it's driven by precedent, so it, it changes all the time. We think one of our successes is the fact we're a bit of a hybrid. Um, you know, we, we brought together the relationship with the customer and, and is good design and presentation and good use of words, which is, you know, the B2B tradition. Uh, LexisNexis gave us the kind of discipline of reference material and making sure things are accurate. And we've mashed that with kind of data analysis, which is our, you know, another element to our service. So I think it's about making sure you take the best elements, and if you combine those effectively, then again, you, you get a really powerful uh, proposition. You know, we were taking copy that was being published in hard copy, and we were putting it on this service, and we were giving away huge value um, but we didn't worry about it. We, we stuck to this vision that we were going to gain market share, grow our position by really wowing customers. And that really is that, that kind of early boldness uh, and the, the willing, willingness of the RBI board to back that uh, strategy really sits behind the success of this service. Building the actual site, I mean, it's lasted us really well, um, and I think that's down to following best practice in usability and, and making sure we were very close to our users in terms of what they wanted. Now, that design we have has lasted us a long time. I think, though, uh, it's getting harder, I mean, because users actually want so much more. Their expectations are growing exponentially. You know, you have to look to the, the, the sites that people are using in their everyday uh, life so you know you're looking at Amazon you're looking at Google and you're looking to pick out the best elements of that practice because that is likely to be the experience and if you can translate that to your environment then you're on to a winner I think. Users are like all of us getting increasingly impatient if they can't find something they will leave you and it doesn't matter if you're a paid for service or not they will they will just not renew so you have to work really hard to make sure they can find it and put the user centre design right at the centre of what you do. We employ a lot of uh, legal specialists, both from people who've studied employment law extensively or, or even lawyers or practising lawyers, uh, right through to um, dedicated researchers who look at best practice and trends in the market. Um, subject knowledge is critical, so we encourage them to refresh their education on, on the subject. Um, but also we are training the, them in... Um, uh, you know the new media, if you like. So they're doing uh, they're doing podcasts and webinars. They're bloggers, you know, and so we're supporting them with training in those areas as well. Um, so you know, it's a good example where we take a very broad view. It's not just reference material. It, it, it's like we expect people to kind of be out there and talking to the customers and talking to potential customers um, about what's important to them. A lot of people say get close to customers, they don't really know what it means. It is, it is absolutely about that, finding out what makes their job easier, what means they're going to save money, how are they going to take cost out of their business by using your service, and that is critical. If you're going to get a user to pay, you've got to be delivering value and significant value uh, to help them do their job. And I think you know that is often providing information they can rely on or information they can use to do their job. And that has to be accurate. It has to be trustworthy. So yes, and that's expensive to do. So you know those are the things you have to um, focus on. I think with a successful playful service.